Royal Row erupts as Meghan Markle and Harry's thinly veiled attack on palace backfires. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry targeted Buckingham Palace with thinly veiled criticism following a row over their son's birth certificate according to a royal expert. On Sunday it was revealed the Duchess of Sussex's first names were removed from Archie's birth certificate just three weeks after its registration. According to The Sun on Sunday Rachel Meghan was removed with just Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Sussex left. The story sparked media speculation Meghan and Harry may have been seeking to differentiate themselves from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. This was angrily denied by the Sussexes via their PR agent, who claimed the change had been dictated by the palace, as confirmed by documents from senior palace officials. They added, this was not requested by Meghan the Duchess of Sussex nor by the Duke of Sussex. To see this UK tabloid and their carnival of so-called experts choose to deceptively whip this into a calculated family snub and suggest that she would oddly want to be nameless on her child's birth certificate, or any other legal document, would be laughable were it not offensive. There's a lot going on in the world, let's focus on that rather than creating clickbait. In response a Buckingham Palace source suggested the change had been made due to a clerical error. However this was questioned by Rebecca English, Daily Mail royal editor, who pointed out the Sussexes were being assisted by the Queen's highly experienced former Deputy Private Secretary, Samantha Cohen. Writing for the paper she added, Mrs. Cohen is not someone given to making significant errors, clerical or otherwise. And nor, for that matter are the team at Westminster Register Office, who are well versed in recording royal births. But if Harry and Meghan thought this would put a swift end to the matter, they were mistaken. Their thinly veiled criticism of the palace seems only to have escalated the situation. M's English alleged the tensions caused one palace staffer to be reduced to tears of frustration and despair. Speaking to the Daily Mail a palace source insisted Meghan and Harry had not been dictated to. Archie Mountbatten-Windsor was born on May 6, 2019, at London's Portland Hospital. The birth was kept private, with the hospital used not being announced until after it took place. This contrasted with the Duchess of Cambridge who had reporters and well-wishers camped outside the Linda Wing of St. Mary's Hospital for all three of her births. The Sussexes also chose not to announce Archie's godparents. Harry and Meghan caused a global sensation in January 2020 when they announced their intention to step down as senior members of the royal family. After their last royal engagement in March, the couple left for North America, settling in Meghan's home state of California shortly before it went into coronavirus lockdown. Meghan and Harry recently moved to a new pound 11.2 million home to the north of Los Angeles. The luxurious property came complete with a tennis court, swimming pool and children's cottage.